Aaron, and we are at the uh, Fine Art Society in Milton. How are we doing today? Good. I'm good. How are you? Good. So you're uh, you, you're part of the youth uh, mentor program. How long have you been part of that program? Um, I've been part with two years. Two years. And how many? How much? What kind of art do you do? To give us your style of art. Well, I do painting and I do creative arts. I do um, on project. I do dolls, paint, and I do sometimes I do clay mace, clay. So what got you? What got you interested in art? What was your? Um, well, I was very interested when they actually started in because I want to learn more, just more than just what I'm doing. I want to do more learning how to do painting. And I want to know how you use the skills on clay, which is what I did. Um, that some of the teachers actually were very um, interested in me doing painting because I'm very good at painting. I can draw people. I camouflage people and anything. And uh, and also, I'm very creative. I'm very good at fashion for dolls. And so people are like, you should be in a Miss Youth Club because you're very good at it. And maybe they would tell you what you should do to make upgrade. And that's what got me into Youth Club. Cool. So now, so, uh, how, how long were you going, or maybe you're still part of that. I know you're in the school year. How long have you been part of uh, FASM or uh, Fine Art Society of, of Milton? How long have you been uh, involved with them? Yeah, oh my gosh. I guess I joined FASM the same year that I did their youth mentoring program. So <laughs> I don't know how long ago that was. Yeah. Um, that was probably like five or six years ago now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And 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 well, actually, that's what we're showcasing on the show is the uh, the program itself. So tell us about the uh, the youth mentoring program. How did you get involved with that? What kind of uh, projects did you they have you do that kind of thing? Yeah. Um, how did I get involved with it? I think someone must have told me about it or given me a tip about it because they knew that I was uh, really interested in pursuing art. Yep. So um, yeah, the program was really amazing because it, it 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 allowed young people to have this space that was just like the space in this time that was just dedicated to doing their artwork and working right. towards that not having to worry about anything else and yep. sometimes it can be really hard to like set aside that time for yourself yep. um and then it also connected us with um mentoring artists in the community which just allowed us to get an idea of like all the different things that are possible and the different career paths that are possible and just all the different kinds of expression that um different people were doing in their work so all right, that was i'm really here with uh, nancy cuddle of the fine art uh society of milton how are we doing today very well thank you good now you're on the executive you're one of the board members so how long have you been part of the uh, um since we moved here uh 17 years 17 years you've been yeah, <laughs> crazy, right? you, were you a professional fine artist before that um professional meaning i i try but uh, you know <laughs> you don't make enough money being but yeah i've been practicing my art for 30 30 35 years and what type of art do you do so i started as a painter and in the mid 90s i discovered i was actually a sculptor and so I'm a sculptor. Yeah. So you're a painter. I think a lot of us do multiple genres. Yeah, right? and, and we had painting in my family on both sides, so it was automatic. But I, I see things I've discovered differently from painters. Right. So. Okay, so tell us what the Fine Art Society of Milton does. Okay, we are a not-for-profit organization, a bunch of artists getting together. And our, our major goal is to outreach to the community and bring the art through art shows or through participation and everything, but it's to bring the art, uh, fine art, to, to the people of Milton. Well, you can't be any better located than in a mall. I mean, I know a lot of art societies, none of them are in a mall, so this yeah. is pretty cool. <laughs> well, you know, we're in here till Wednesday, and now this is leased, too. So oh. the, the mall's been very generous. They've given us space, but um, they're booked up. So, so this will probably air after Wednesday. <laughs> in fact, I know it will air after Wednesday. Yeah. Where are you going after Wednesday? So if anybody has space for us, we... Well, you don't have a location yet. No, we don't have a location. This oh. is the first time. we've The mall, we have moved, I think, five times in here. Okay. So they've been very good good about it but because they're adding a daycare center at the end they're condensing and and malls are changing yeah. so uh we are at the point that our members are taking some of the things home and we're looking for storage space and then i think you know we're going to look and say what should we be doing um you know one way or another because organizations change their culture 
Okay, so hopefully you will still be somewhere in the mall. For sure. Yeah, or, or you know, on Main Street or whatever. You know, if we can find a, a generous donor who will uh, let us stay there. We'll put that. We'll put that into the mix for sure. Okay, so we we had some young people on that are were talking about your youth program. What what tell us a little more about that youth mentoring program? Well, that program we've discovered within the school systems. The arts are just not there in the same way, and. Um, the kids that are in this one are ex exceptional kids. It's not just art classes. Right. They're, they're, they will be interviewed again this year, and they come in and they work with an artist. So we have, we've had up to five, six artists who volunteer their time, okay. and they work with them, and it would be an artist who that was their specialty, so help the kids through. So what they do is, is they, they work on preparing a couple of pieces for an exhibition, which yep. this is a big deal to be in the Halsam Gallery. Right, right. And so then we finish it with a show in the ground. Okay, so